Hey guys, so today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the abortion ruling that New York had. I'm really very sad about this. I am in mourning over these children, over these women that are going to have this happen to them. I, uh, I just don't know what to say. Part of me is angry. Part of me is just wanting to cry over it. There's so many boys and girls, you know, who will never grow up to be men and women. We'll never get to know them. They'll never have a chance to do anything because somebody thought it might be hard for them to do. <clears throat> this has come up in my life a few times this week where we're talking about sacrifice and what it takes for things to matter. People matter, children matter, and the reason why is because we sacrifice so much to keep ourselves going. I mean, so many people have come before us to sacrifice so many things. And then to have these people just say, well, it might be a little hard for me. That, that's hard for me to take. That, that's very hard for me to take. Um, so here's the story. New York passes the abortion in case the mother's health is at risk. The thing that they don't really tell you, unless I missed it in my reading, is that what they mean by that is if she just mentally can't handle it. Which let me tell you, kids can be tough. Uh, that, that they are totally worth it. <laughs> this, uh... If she just thinks it might be mentally hard for her, then she can kill her child, basically. So, this is something that I just... This is something that we have to fight against. And basically, the way that I understand the best way to do this is to get out and vote, okay? Pray for your leaders. Pray for the people around you to have their eyes open. And be vocal. Don't think that just because somebody's a Christian or just because somebody says, you know, they love kids, that doesn't mean that they're against abortion. Okay, so always be vocal about the truth. The more we speak the truth, the more it gets out there, the more people's minds will be changed because all they're hearing is one side. We conservatives and we Christians need to get out there and say more. All right, so that's what I wanted to say on that end. On the other end, there's a lot of hope out there, okay? Because for every, this is just one law in, North, in, in New York that I know of. So here's another one. Minnesota, okay, proposed an abortion ban, all right. And this ban, even though the one in Iowa was struck down, basically what they're trying to say here, I'll just leave it up here. Because I've got some notes to read real quick. What they're trying to say, this Minnesota one, there's a guy named Miller, and he's a the representative, the Republican representative. And he says he's aware of what happened in Iowa, but he's been working on some form of a heart bill, heartbeat bill for years, and believes a beating heart shows there's a human being at stake when it comes to terminating a pregnancy. He fully expects the courts to challenge it, but he's putting it up there anyway because he believes in doing this. Okay, so there's somebody fighting for that very beautiful special thing that God gave us all called life. <laughs> Florida. I just saw this one. This is January 22nd. Florida bill would ban abortions if fetal heartbeat detected once again. This is House Bill 235 in the Florida Senate. It was filed by the Republican Florida State Rep Mike Hill who would make it illegal for women to get an abortion after fetal heartbeat is detected. Hill believes in the statement from the Declaration of Independence which says all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness also applies to unborn children according to the bill any person who provides an abortion after a heartbeat is detected commits a third degree felony this one I hope passes okay so there are people out there doing what they can 